Hi, I'm Dr. Raj Patel from uh, Vancouver Vision Clinic, and I am here to talk to you a little bit about the steps of becoming an optometrist. Um, I think when you choose optometry or any kind of health profession, one of the main things you want to focus on is, do you like to be around people? Uh, any health professions is really people-oriented, and so you have to really enjoy um, servicing and helping people and being around people. I think that's paramount. Uh, I think when you look at the steps of becoming an optometrist, the first thing to think about is back when you're in high school, talking to your optometrist and, and um, maybe job shadowing them for a few hours. It's been a really positive thing. We have done that many times for our local students around here and it gives the uh, high school students an opportunity to see if this is really the profession that they think it is and, um, and uh, oftentimes it is, uh, it's a great way to get motivated that this is really what you want to do. So I would start there as your first step. I think the next step in becoming an optometrist is choosing a good college. Um, college, uh, you know, you can major in a variety of different things and go to optometry school. Uh, in undergrad, you know, you'll have your four-year degree finished up. And that can be in a variety of different things, whether it's music or science or math or accounting. Um, all those individuals with those varied, varied backgrounds can still go to optometry school, but there will be a, a core, types, core types of math and science classes that you'll take to fulfill your requirements for entry. So then after you, after you get to the, towards the end of your college education, you'll take an admissions test called the uh, optometry admissions test. And based on your score on that test and also your performance in college, along with your interview at the optometry school, um, that will kind of uh, help you get into a particular program and finding the right program that suits you. So then you'll start optometry school. And so then the next step is actually starting optometry school, which is a four-year program. And so there's a handful of optometry schools across the country. And once you start there, um, it's a, a wonderful, wonderful thing because now you finally get to study that thing that you've been wanting to focus on for so many years. Uh, so that's a four-year program, and during the course of that four years, you'll get a lot of patient interaction time, and especially in that last year, you'll do these programs called externships, where you'll go out and potentially work in a variety of different clinic settings and get a lot of exposure to a variety of different patients. And when you're done with that, now you'll have your optometry degree, and then you'll have the opportunity to study one more year into a program called residency programs. And they're essentially one-year programs that are really intense in particular aspects of optometry. And Although they're not necessary, they are things that are highly encouraged and um, lots of times they give you an opportunity to really focus in on particular parts of optometry that um, you might really enjoy. And then also somewhere in there to after, at, the, at the end of optometry school you'll take some board exams, national board exams and state uh, licensing exams. And at the conclusion of, the, of all those things, you'll have finished all those necessary steps it takes to become an optometrist. And if you've kind of done your careful work ahead of time, spending that time visiting with your optometrist, asking them if this is right for you and shadowing them, then you'll know at the end when you've finished all these different steps that uh, it was the right profession for you.